All right, this has been one of my most requested videos. I'm going to show you my support settings for these helmets on screen, live, and compare it with the default Bamboo Lab Studio Slicer. Stick around, check out these helmets. All right, hey, welcome. I'm Queso, and thanks for clicking the video, and welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, I appreciate it. If you haven't, like and subscribe. So anyways, as the title suggests, this is going to be a support settings video. And these are my support settings that have worked really, really well for me. So if you're a beginner or and you, and you don't know where to start for your support settings, this is a good place to start for Bamboo Labs uh, Slicer. So what I have right here is just a side-by-side. So here's like one screen right here and here's the other slicer and I'm just going to put them two together so we can compare. So just really quickly, the type of supports or the, the layer height I use is going to be a 16 millimeter or sorry, a 0.16 millimeter. Um, I like this layer height. It comes out with really consistent results. It's all smooth and there's very like little to no layer lines. So I like this layer height. You don't really have to go too much lower than that. So um, first thing you want to do, make sure you enable supports. The supports I go with are going to be tree and I go auto. I very rarely like to paint my supports on. That just wastes time. So I'm going to click auto. Um, we're going to go default and then threshold angle. I'm going to bump down to 20 instead of 25. Sometimes I'll bump it up to 30. So anywhere between 20 and 30 is where I like to hover depending on the piece and if I want to get some more support settings in there. I make sure I click build plate only, and then I want to remove small overhangs um, if possible, just because I don't want to have just a random overhang that one support goes up to. That's going to increase my time. So always click remove small overhangs. Next, I'm going to go, we got raft layers. I really don't mess with the raft layers unless it's like a, a difficult print. I haven't had to use rafts at all on my X1C, so I'm just going to ignore that. Um, density this is 90% initial layer expansion 2 and then right here is where we're going to have some deviation I'm going to bump this to 2 wall loops per support um, you can bump this down to 1 but if you need to have a support be strong and stay in place 2 is more than enough um, if you just need a support to get there and it doesn't matter if it's like a little bit wobbly or not um, 1 will be fine all right, so let's continue down. That's the same, the same, same. Base pattern, spacing, same, same. All right, top interface. So an interface is where the support meets the print itself. It's. I'll show you what it looks like in a little bit. I increase this number to three instead of two just because it adds a little bit more of a buffer zone and it makes for e really easy removal on most 3D prints. So I bump that up to three. Um, what else do we have? Okay, top interface spacing is zero instead of 0 0.5. Zero there. Let's just scroll all the way down. 35, 32. Okay, I'm also gonna break this down to zero or bump that down to zero. Um, that's not even on this one, so that must be where is that max hmm that's zero anyways um, I do click that and then I also have branch distance is five millimeters at the most branch diameter two millimeters branch angles up to 60 branch diameter angle is five so what I'm gonna do now I have this saved I kind of have that as a good support. I have a Deadpool helmet here that I just recently printed, and I'm going to show you what this looks like with the supports on it. So let me just quickly click slice, and then we'll jump right to it. All right, so here we have it, and this is what we're going to go with. Okay, I had to s angle this slightly backwards um, so it would fit, but this is the support setting we're going to go with. Okay, um, when you're making helmets, if you've never made them before, you don't really need to worry about the center part too much just because it's a dome shape and it should be just fine if there's no support there. It's going to look ugly, but it will bridge and it'll look fine and the outer shell will look good. Um, I'm just going to keep this there for now. 
Um, but just know you don't need it. If you're worried at all about these angles right here, you can increase the support threshold, increase that, bump it up, and it's gonna put more supports where that threshold is. But be warned, it's also gonna increase more support everywhere else. So if you are fine with everything, but you're not fine with this, then just make sure you go in and block out what you don't want. And then you will just have support where you want it. Okay, but this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on the printer and then I'll show you um, the part when it's done with all the supports removed. All right, guys, two things. First, I'm on my cell phone, so sorry. I have a print going on in the background. You might be able to hear that noise. I'll try to talk loudly enough. Second thing is, I forgot to film me removing the supports, but here is the finished product of the Deadpool helmet. And you can look. Yes, there are a little bit imperfections, but for the most part, I mean, that this is all going to be hidden. This came out so good with these support settings. Okay, the toughest part to print were these little tabs right there and you can see yeah there's a little bit of drooping and stuff but for the most part they came out perfect okay in the inside this was where the centerpiece is where you know if you want to take it out you can take it out you don't have to keep it there I opted to keep it there and that's how it turned out okay very good and it was super easy to remove it for me to remove all of the supports it maybe took five minutes there were a little bit of if you look right here, a little bit of um, things left over, little bits, and you just take those with the clippers you get, the 3D printing clippers, and then you just cut the little bits off and then it's good to go. But look how clean that print looks. The 16, .16 layer height is fantastic. Um, I can't recommend these support settings enough. So if you guys found this helpful, like and subscribe. Use my support settings, tweak them, share with me what you did, and I will give you a shout out if I do it and I like it too. Thanks for watching. I'm Queso Builds.